Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be continuing the identification of unknowns experiment by reviewing the tests for phenols. Let's get started. We will now perform the ferric chloride test for phenols using the test compounds phenol and 2-naphthol. Most water-soluble phenols produce an intense red, blue, purple, or green color. The colors observed in this test result from the formation of a complex of the phenols with iron-3 ion. Some phenols do not give a positive result in this test, so a negative test must not be taken as significant without other adequate evidence. We'll begin by adding a small amount of the test compounds to separate test tubes. We'll then add one milliliter of deionized water to each test tube and mix with a microspatula. We'll then add several drops of 2.5% aqueous ferric chloride solution. We will now perform the cerium-4 test for phenols using the test compounds phenol and 2-naphthol. The cerium-4 test provides a more reliable way of detecting the presence of the hydroxyl group in water-insoluble phenols than the ferric chloride test. Since alcohols also give a color change with this reagent, you will first need to distinguish between alcohols and phenols by determining the solubility behavior of your compound. Phenols should be soluble in sodium hydroxide, whereas alcohols will not dissolve in aqueous sodium hydroxide. We will begin by adding 3 milliliters of 1,2-dimethoxyethane and 0.5 milliliters of cerium-4 reagent to two dry test tubes and gently shake the solution to mix. We will then add a small amount of each of our test compounds to the solution in the test tubes and stir with a microspatula. The unsubstituted phenol forms a dark brown precipitate and other phenols should yield a deep red solution. Okay, students, you should now be familiar with how to perform the test for phenols. This concludes this portion of the identification of unknowns experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.